Damn, I was like 20 seconds away. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn, those putties look good. We didn't see this one. We said that once before. Do you follow Travel Thirsty? No. They have the fucking craziest videos of like humongous fish like breaking it. Not it's kind of a little bit gnarly though. Best well, channel, Kurt Kaz is like the best like the best shit. He goes like, to all these different places. And just, I like Outdoor Chef Life also. That guy just, he has these little mini kayaks, he catches hella fish and then he does a cook with them. Catch and cook? Yeah. Just catch and yeah, cook. Yeah, I should, I should do He's like a half Japanese guy. Wow. Hey, cooks them and then you put them in a, in a bit. <laughs> it's fast food, isn't it? Brother, that is not cleaned by man. Cheeseburgers. If you're gonna go ahead and drop me those buns in the quarter bun, I'll go ahead and make those cheeseburgers. What? They, they kicked them out. I had so many jobs. I, I'm kind of mad I never McDonald's. I don't want that. As Actually, moment. same. Yeah? I'm not kidding. I want to go to McDonald's. Yeah. I just want that for my memory, man. I think it'll be cool. Well, you know, that's a pretty good. And, um, like I, I, I think we know like it's a, it's a pretty good job. I think it's a good experience. Yeah. Well, fun. I just need the bun. They say million dollar takes, millionaire takes, but uh, I'm don't, literally don't. talking about the regular jobs I had in my don't, life when don't. I had no money. You know. Yeah. Don't don't be chatting about other jobs. Seriously, don't really chat. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously. It doesn't matter how many times I, I, I could open a bunch of jobs that I had, a bunch of experiences or whatever, a bunch of, a bunch of job takes. So don't want to say millionaire, out of touch, whatever the fuck up. Yeah, it's like, even if we were out of touch now, we're talking about a time where we had no minimum wage jobs, and I have good memories from those times. Like, also, I've had bad memories of working my ass off, and then paying my rent and then just having enough for rent and then being broke yeah, again for yeah, a week or two. Yeah. So like, so we need, uh, you know, it's like it one, one, it one, puts, one step forward, two, two steps back. Yeah. But just for me, my point of view of making my own money back then, even if it was minimum wage, I had good experiences and good uh -huh. memories. And it's funny to put on your fucking resume I have been fucking sitting around doing nothing. Yeah. Character building too. Uh, Last job I had before quitting, I was making twenty-three dollars and fifty cents an hour. Um, I don't know if that's good. I don't, I don't know if that's good still in current day nature, but I think it's above minimum wage, that's so good, it's not yeah. horrible. It was about two and a half times. Yeah. Yeah. Minimum wage here was ten fifty. Yeah, I'm making twenty fifty. My last job was in Manhattan, and I was doing all the computer shit, like network admin shit. Mm -hmm. I was right. IT guy. <clears throat> but that was like the first real, real like career type job I had. All. All before that, it was like help desk and desktop support, and then yeah, yeah, you know, just kind of the shit or shit where you're on the phone with people are like, I don't know where to move my mouse, and I'm like, okay, go here, click there. <laughs> it was horrible. At least you know what you're doing, sort of. I was just kind of, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I had jobs where it was too free flow, and nobody knew what the fuck they were doing. Like I had a job, um. 
We had to go knock at doors for fucking landscaping company. Mm -hmm. And nobody knew what the fuck they were doing. Nobody. It was like the most free flow, like brain melting shit. It was like actual brain rotter. I'm gonna tell you the best boomer job of all time I've had that I'm very proud of. I worked at Blockbuster Video for two years. Hold on. That shit was fire. I like changing jobs a lot. I didn't like saying second too hard. Yeah. And we get fired. Never did fast food though. I kind of. Well, I was gonna start before. I was the most valuable employee. At the landscaping job. Yeah, I'm getting your and, um. They were asking me to train other people, right? But they wouldn't give me a pay raise. So I told them, if I do more, and I anchor my volume, I don't get paid more. And he said no, so I just quit. And I thought it was fine. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah, I know. I just, I just quit and, never, and I never showed up again. I just literally just left. Um. And it saved my fucking. My, my my extra bullshit paycheck, whatever you get, it's like um. Whenever you don't take your 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 um, I never took vacation days. So whenever, it stacks up and they give it to you, right? Mhm. Mm it was it was a lot of money. I I was working at Kinko's. Now it's owned by FedEx, but back then it was just a copy place. But also there was a computer department where I, like I designed business cards and flyers and shit. And my boss gave me my appraisal, and I could tell they were just trying to save money because I was like, I was a workaholic, and I was really fucking oh, yeah. customers. And she gave me like a false appraisal saying like, "Yo, you don't do this, you don't do that." I'm like, "This bitch is capping for real." So, like that's the just next weird, day, dude. that's just yeah, disgusting. it was so weird. So she didn't want to give me a raise, right? The next day, the main computer where all the customers' jobs were, I changed the password and I put a password hint. And I wrote, what would you do if your boss fucked you out of a raise? And Jesus. I changed the password to the word quit. And I just posted these fucking flyers all up over the fucking thing and copied them because I was at Kinko's. And she called me the next day and begged for me to get back and gave me like an extra fucking dollar fifty raise. That's not bad. I Like, after I did all that, that's how da down bad they were and they still fucking hired me back and that, gave me the raise I wanted. That is weird though. Not a big story. It's so backwards though. It's why, it's why, it's why, like, um... It, it's why it's not because you're like a, a store manager or whatever the fuck or you own a place that you know what you're doing with your business and that, that, that you have a good, like, you have good, like, business ethics and you know what the fuck you're, like, you know what you're doing. Like, mm -hmm. like, rewarding, rewarding good behavior and people doing good and people that are energetic and passionate about what they do, it's like... It's 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 like a good thing. They want to like to cut as much as possible and not reward anybody. And they, it's just it's just like um, it's just so so dumb. Like, it's, I, I don't... The, it's the whole corporate thing, right? It's just like it's like we don't care about <laughs> morals. We don't really care about you as a person. You're just a number. You're doing a job, and if you do an extra good job, who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? They don't they don't really care. They don't look yeah. into things with any feeling when it's corporation. Yeah, fucking motherfuckers. Oh, let me There's around. no feelings. I wanted to be a fucking um, dude. I wanted to be a, a, a summer camp instructor type shit. So I aced the interview. I go fucking hard in the interview, and they love me. So send me to this fucking seminar shit where you learn about how to how to how to um, talk to kids and how to uh, um, you know be a good instructor, or whatever. How to deal with how to deal with kids with like special needs, um, autism, shit like that. A full day training shit. Man, this man, this fucking oh, I'm gonna need to fucking delete them. Just say hey, this this fucking actually cringe mode. I think it's so fucking cringe. Um, and um, 
Then, then I, I, I don't get an email back, so I emailed the lady, and I'm like, um, yo, man, I mean, do I get the job? And um, basically, I said they didn't, they're not hiring me, and the reason was simple. Um, um, I wasn't energetic enough about the fucking songs and shit that they're singing for children or whatever. You know, you know, like, like, yeah. like you know, like the na 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 na, right? Because I didn't, I didn't know the lyrics. Where is Thumpkin? Where yeah, is like Thumpkin? So these guys, I yeah. Am? I mean, I was, I, I mean, I'm just gonna say, I was not, a, I was not fit for the job. I just wasn't, because the motherfuckers yeah. men were all there, hands in the air, then and then, then fucking doing all the song and doing all the lyrics, and I was just like trying to sing along, bro. And I was like, bro, this is fucking dog shit. <laughs> It was like, dude, it was like I was traumatizing, man. I don't know. I was so out of my element, man. So I didn't have me for that. And I was like, you know what? I mean, you guys saved yourself fucking some trouble because I would not have been a good employee.